Here's our 10-inch uh, R-Candy motor, uh, almost ready to assemble. Just waiting on the uh, putty to dry on the opposite end here. Um, there's the nozzle right here with a 1-inch PVC coupler to go right on top of the motor here. Um, we made our uh, con convergent on the inside here and our divergent nozzle mold. This right here is just uh, a CAD drawing turned into a 3D printer object right here. So, and Then we'll uh, assemble it by throwing in the about nine grains of candy right here and then use our end cap on this side and also put an end cap on here with a hole in it and put that on the other side right there so if you need the uh, CAD drawings with the STLs for the uh, nozzle just ask the uh, newest rocket. It uh, doesn't have a parachute or anything so we're uh, going to go somewhere pretty secluded to fire it off. We just have to uh, slide the motor up there and get it secured in and we'll uh, head out and go launch it. Hopefully it'll do uh, pretty good. So. Here's how the uh, motor ended up. Cut it in half, and uh, as you can see, there is some nozzle erosion. I'd say about eighth of an inch total on the throat there. But uh, besides that, I think it was a really good burn. Um, proved that this concept works by coupling the nozzle onto the motor, and uh, I think this is what we're going to do for our next couple of rockets.